Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers, and I love the Halloween season, so I thought it would be fun to take a picture of a person and turn them into a witch like this. So you can use a picture of your own or your child or anything and or just pull from stock photos. So let's get started. So I took a bunch of photos from the stock tab right here. Um, I was looking for a girl and I don't and she has horns. I don't need them. I'm going to erase them. But I picked her because I thought she had a good look. And I also searched for a forest and I decided on this one. And then I looked for a cauldron, and I decided on that one. And then I looked for a witch's hat, and I really couldn't find a great witch's hat. So I chose this one, and I figured it'll do. It'll have to do in this case. But I hope you could find a better witch's hat than that. So let's, uh, let's just open up what I did. And I'm going to, for the sake of this video, cut something short. For example, here's the girl, and I moved her down, but I already masked her. You can look at other tutorials on masking. I know this looks a little ridiculous here, so um, I did this because I was going to put a hat on her. So basically I was just wiping away on the mask most of her head because I don't need the horns. So let's just get her in there. And then the next thing I did was I brought the witch's hat. So let's just change the name of this to woman. Actually, I'll call her witch even though she's not a witch yet. <laughs> and then this one, I'm going to call it hat. H-A-T. Good. And let's go back to full screen. And we'll work with this first. So we are going to take the woman, and after we've masked her, we're going to do, I don't like her red dress. So what I'll do here is I will take her and do an adjustment layer. And it's a hue and saturation, HSL, hue, saturation, and luminosity. And I will choose the red color. And with the picker, I will just drag across the red. And that's really choosing the red color. For example, you could see that I did that. And all I really want to do with that is lower the luminosity so that she has a black top on. I think a black is going to work much better. And yes, I did see that uh, the face, I could mask out the face and leave the color, but I am going to be coloring the face later, so I don't really mind the face being uh, darkened too. So I am going to leave it just like that. Next, I want her skin color to change. So let me get a close up. And let's see where we're at. And now, I will put above the witch, I will add a new pixel layer, and I will change the blend mode to color. And then take a paintbrush and give it an interesting green, a kind of a witch's green. Don't ask me what a witch's green looks like, but I'm just going to pick one and see if that I'm looking at that color, and I think I'm okay with that. And I am go I think I'll even lower the op the hardness I want on zero, and I might lower the opacity a little bit to 80 so I can play with it a little. And then I'm going to start painting her face. Now, because I have it on color, the details of her face underneath will show through. And because I have it on color, black will not be colored, which is a great thing because it, it makes my life much easier here. Now, I am going to do this very quickly. You should be much more careful. And that was 80% opacity, so every time I go over it, it's a little bit darker. So, and that's why I did that. So it gives you a chance to do some lighter if you need it. I'm going to get as close to these eyes as possible. Now, that's what I love about the uh, blend mode of color because you don't have to worry about what's underneath. It actually colors it in and keeps the details. I used the, this blend mode a lot for many, many things. I'm, gonna make, I'm hitting the right bracket key and making it bigger. Now remember the hat's above, so it doesn't matter what I'm painting above the hat because it'll be underneath the hat. The, paint, the green paint will be under the hat. I wanna get closer to the lips. Let's go really close here. Let's go like 
that maybe. And that looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. And now we'll go bigger again and back it up a little. And again, I don't really have to worry too much about even the jewelry. It could be, the jewelry, as far as I'm concerned, I could separate it, but I like the green because it kind of is reflecting off of her body anyway, so I don't mind the green and the jewelry. And let's go back and see what it looks like. And I think that looks pretty good looks. Looks like I missed some of her chest here. Let's just go over that a little bit more. And I think that looks pretty good. I don't really like her lips. Oh, by the way, so let's take this green and call it face. Face green, just so we know what it is. Okay, and now above that, I'm going to put another pixel layer. And I'm going to paint in black. So I'm hitting D to get back to my black and white and now I'm painting in black and I am going to paint these lips. Let's get a real close up again because I don't like the lips that color. I'm just going to paint right over them. Now when you use black, black is a problem. You can't use color mode in black because all it does is turn anything under it into a black and white photo. So it doesn't give the effect. For example, right now, if I use color, it brings it back to that, and I don't want that. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to keep it on normal, but I'm going to lower the opacity just a little because I want to darken the lips, but I want some of the detail to show through on the lips. So let's see where we're at. That's good. I like that. Now let's name this lips. Let's keep track of everything. And now we're going to add a new pixel layer above that. Get a close up. And I am going to paint in red. So I'm going to choose a red. And I'm going to paint right on the eyes. Now remember, this is a separate pixel layer. I'm just going to go like that and then do that again. And the little black underneath looks okay. Then I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit and I think I'll change the thing to glow. I like the glow. I actually like the blue too, but I'm going to go with glow. I try to do color. What I do, just so you're aware, what I do is I pick the first one. I click here and then with my down arrow, I just go through them all. I'm hitting the down arrow right now. And some of them lighten, doesn't look bad. And I'm just flipping down and there's not much reaction to most of these, but I kind of like, in this case, I kind of like the glow. So I'm gonna use glow and I might even bring this opacity down just a little bit more like that. And that's, so that looks pretty good. Now the hat, I hate this red band. I don't even like this hat. So if you can, please try and find another hat. <laughs> but I couldn't find one for this particular tutorial right away. And I could have pulled it off the web, a website or something, but I didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't know if we were allowed to use some things. So now with the hat, I'm going to do adjustments, hue, saturation, and luminosity. That's HSL. Once again, since this is red, I'm going to choose red and click the picker and try and find as close as I can to those reds. And I'm going to kind of see what color I want it to be. I might go into like a little bit on this purplish because later on I'm going to do something else with purple. So there we go. I did the hat and that hue and saturation should only be with the hat. I wanted to make sure I put it in there. Now I'm going to select all of these and group them and we're going to call that witch okay so that's all we have for the witch now here's the background that's my forest background so let's play with the forest background right now 
Okay, I think I want the forest background to look a little bit more eerie, so I'm going to go to Effects, and I'm doing a color over overlay, and I'm choosing a blue, and I'm going to go about a 30%. I don't want it all the way. I'm going to go about a 30, around 30% 30 opacity. And then that's good. And now with that, I'm going to also do a curves because I want it darker. So I'm going to bring the background down to a, a nice dark level, a little bit of an eerie level like that, like that. And then above the background, let me just first of all name this background. I'll, I'll name it forest. Okay, now above the forest, I'm going to do another pixel layer. And I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm bringing my opacity down to maybe 40-50%. And my hardness to zero. And with the paintbrush, I'm going to paint in white. And I'm going to bring this pretty big, like that. And I'm basically tapping. Just kind of like that behind. And I'm trying. what I'm trying to do is get the effect of a fog. So what I'll do now is I can give it a Gaussian blur. And then I'm going to change the opacity just to kind of make it look a little hazy. And I think that's good. So now I'm going to select these two, group them, and I'm going to call it um, background. All right. And now the other part I need is I, I brought in the cauldron. Remember, this is the cauldron. Let me see if I can hide these so you can see. This is basically the cauldron that I brought in. That was my originals there. So let's bring these back. And I lowered it and I masked it. So you could see I just took the mask, brought it down, and I did that just like that. And the cauldron now, so I need to have some smoke coming out of there. So what I'll do is I'll add another pixel layer and I'll do partially what I did before. Remember with the white brush and this time I'm going to be kind of going like this. And I, my, my hardness is zero and my flow is very light. Something like that. And then I want one above it. And this one, I want it to be just slightly darker, I think. So let's go like a little bit of a light gray. And, and I'm doing, I know you can't see much because of the way this is happening. And I also think that I want this one to have a little color tint to it. So I'm going to give it effects. I'm going to give it a color overlay. And let's go with the purple like we did kind of with the hat. Something in this area, dark purple. And really lower the opacity on that. Let's close it. So now we're going to take the smudge tool. And with the smudge tool, we're just going to kind of do this kind of thing. Smudge them up. And then pick the white one and smudge a little. Whoops, that's too small. Pick a large size and give it a smudge like it's like it's doing something here. And it's coming out of here. I'm going to just smudge around. And then I'm going to group the two. And then add a mask. And on the mask, I'm going to, with black, I'm going to just start getting rid of anything that's in front of the pot. And I might get rid of some other stuff. I might have overdid it, so like I can just tap here and there to get rid of some of this. We want the pot to be coming out, you know, 
coming out of the, we want the smoke to be coming out of the pot. And I still think it looks a little bit too much. Now I'm not really liking this purple one very much. So I'm going to try something. I'm going to try moving it around a little bit, shrinking it, giving it some feeling coming out of here. And maybe I'm going to duplicate it. Control or Command J and maybe move this like it's coming out of here. And then grab it, change the size a little. Like that. Like that. And I'm going to add a little bit more to the purple, I think. Except I'm going to bring the opacity way down. And now back to the mask of the whole thing. And on the mask, I need to get rid of anything that's over the pot. We don't want anything over the pot here. Okay. And so now the last thing I need to do, well, actually I want something in the forest. So I think I'm going to, over the background, I'm going to add another pixel layer and take my paintbrush. I'm going to put kind of a yellowish color, not so bright, but a pale yellow. And bring my brush size way down my opacity back up to normal, soft brush. I'm going to just throw a couple of dots in in the back like someone is watching in the background. And then I'm going to take the top layer and then say layer, new fill layer. And I'm going to make that a really bluish color. Just pick any blue that you like. And I'm going to give it an overlay blend mode, which is right there. And I'm going to lower it like that. And I think that looks pretty good. That's how you turn a woman into a witch. <laughs> Let's group all these. Control or Command G, we grouped that. So now that I grouped it, you can see the before and after. Here's the after, and here's what she started out like. And you can use of any photo. You can use your kid's photo if you want. Uh, you can use a picture of you, or you can go to stock photos. I just picked one and, and said woman, and this is what I came up with. And, and, and try to use a better hat than I did, because I can't stand the hat I'm using. But you, you get the idea. You can add text if you want bloody text or happy Halloween or anything like that. But uh, I, don't, I didn't want to go into it for this tutorial because I didn't want it to be too long. So I hope you liked this. And if you did, please click like and subscribe. And have a happy Halloween, everyone.